Did you smell it? No, it's not movie night. I'm Danika and I'm here in Treaty 6 territory where I'm so glad to be in a place where people have gathered to listen and learn and tell stories since time immemorial. And so I'm so glad you're here with me today. We're going to be doing something else that I did when I was little. Now, for this activity, you're going to need some popcorn, yummy, delicious popcorn. But this is special popcorn. This isn't popcorn that has salt or butter on it yet, but maybe I'll do that with the leftovers. And it's not microwave popcorn because that always has lots of extra things in it that aren't good for other creatures. You're also going to need a needle and some thread. And I picked red thread. You should be able to see that because I wanted to show up a little bit. And I have some old dry oranges that we forgot about, but I think that other creatures might like them better than my kids. And some frozen berries. Now, my mom just made me a very special new mask. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So this gave me the idea that I would make a treat for our little friends. Now, when I was little, we used to decorate the house during the holidays with strings of popcorn. So I'm going to show you what we used to do. So I just put one on the end to make sure that when I start working, I'm not going to lose the popcorn off the other end of my string. So what you need is you have to be very careful too. Maybe this is part that uh, you could hand the popcorn to somebody who's bigger than you and they could poke it through with the needle. And I'm just going to add a few pieces of this yummy, delicious popcorn. And I have to be careful because popcorn is pretty delicate. It's pretty fragile. It's a strange thing because sometimes when people send packages, if they don't want to use styrofoam, they pop some popcorn and they put that in the box. So something fragile or delicate might not break. So I'm picking up, oh, I have, I'm gonna show you what I have on my lap. On my lap, I have a towel because I thought, what if the fruit gets juicy? I don't wanna get it on my pants. Did you see that? There's my towel. And it just, it's picking up some little crumbs of popcorn so I don't have to vacuum at the end. Sometimes we do crafts that are a little messy. And sometimes I do these types of crafts at my kitchen table because it's easier to wipe up. But I really wanted to sit in front of this beautiful painting today. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on an orange. And that's another good reason for my towel because it'll stop the juice from getting on my lap. And I'm just going to put a few more pieces of popcorn. And maybe I should have a movie night tonight. That's a fun thing to do during the winter when it's cold and we don't want to go outside all the time. I love going outside anyways and going for walks and looking at all the interesting things in the neighborhood. The other day, I saw a white rabbit jump out and cross the street. And that was very, very exciting for me. And I've noticed that there are people making big snow sculptures on their front lawns. So you might go for a little drive and see some interesting things in your neighborhood too. Okay, I'm gonna put on a frozen blueberry. Now when I was little, my mom would buy cranberries and we'd put those on, but I don't have any cranberries. So I'm gonna keep on going with this and then I'm going to take it outside. Here it is. Now, sometimes I like to hang these types of things in the backyard for the birds and the small creatures, but today I'm gonna hang it right here because my living room window is right there so I can see whoever comes to take a little bite, to have a little snack. And then I'm gonna go back inside and have a little snack myself. 